Okay, so we're going to be going over how to put a cap on parapet walls for a building. So right now we have a box with a roof on it, but our walls, our parapet walls, are bare on top, which is not accurate to how buildings are actually built. So we're going to learn how to put on a, a cap or a parapet cap or the actual correct term for it. So to do this, you go into your wall, your edit type, you get your structure, you find out, oops, before that, you find out what the width of your wall is, because that will tell you the length that you have to make your profile, because you have to create a profile and add it in. And now we'll go over the process of adding in your profile, you go in, you just do modify vertical structure, make sure you turn on your preview and set it to section and not floor plan. And if you come in and add a sweep, you can just add one like you do with these parameters. And you set it to the top of the wall. And exterior and interior doesn't really matter, you have to do an offset anyways. And then you load up your family. But first we'll go in and we'll create a profile that we can actually use. So we go into file and I don't save. We go down here to profiles. And then you start drawing in that not what I want. You start drawing in your profile. One eighth. Oops. Thickness. Let's see if I got this. There we go. So we'll just draw in our little profile real quick. real quick. to edit the wall like we were doing earlier. So now we have a profile made. Like I said, we'll go in and there's also profiles that are pre-made that you can use, but you'll probably have to tweak them to fit your wall. We'll go into edit the structure. We'll add our sweep. We will add it. We'll set it to whichever one we just made. You will set it to the top of the wall. And apply and see where it puts it, which is over there. So we will offset that. Do that for now. We'll see where that puts it. Uh, oops, that is the wrong one. That is distance from the top. You want to leave him alone. What we want it is this one. And this will change the horizontal point that it is on. Like it is only that far. Okay, so we're almost there. That is close. It appears that my wall sweep is slightly off, which if that happens, you can just come in, hit OK. Go back into your profile, I believe it's this one. Yeah. That was an old one I had, so 
So now what we can do is we can just take this, and we can move them. Probably should have actually measured and seen how far off we were. Let's just do that. Overlay the project. Overlay that existing version. Yeah, you can see right now we have this going on. But yeah, that's kind of what it will end up looking like, which I guess if you wanted to call that good, we should probably move it up a little bit or make that a little bit thicker because we make we can see that we have our brick cutting through it. So while I'm in here, I'll do that. Or maybe I'll just do this. That's probably what I'm doing. I set it on that reference line so it will be clipping through. I don't think I need that straight. Now it might actually sit on top of the wall. Do that. Do that can be greedy. There we go. That's better. Now it's actually sitting on top of the wall as opposed to inside of the wall. And if we go back in here, edit type, you'll be able to see in this little preview. You can see now I made it way too big, but you get the idea behind it. We can go back in to edit structure. I hit that sweep. We'll be able to move it over. Oops, I just moved it. What did I call it? We'll do that. We'll, where does that put them? There we go. So we have a little bit of this gap going on, but y'all get the idea of setting up this. So you'll have this little sweep on your wall, and you can set them up to look however you want. And now we have. A nice little cap for our parapet, which normally I believe they come down farther, but for the sake of this video, you will get the idea that that's how you create a little parapet cap. So now you can actually have a cap on your wall types as opposed to having to go in. And I guess one way to do it is just put a sweep on the front of the surface. Depending on your renders and what project you're doing, you can hide it that way and just put a little sweep on the outside. But this way, you actually have a wall type that will have this cap on it and it'll just put it throughout your entire project and they immediately join together with geometry so you don't have to worry about your sweeps not lining up these will just line up perfectly with the wall joins and you can even set these up so that they will wrap around the wall so if you had just a wall that wasn't closed in you can actually have it wrap around. So like right now I do not have it wrapping, but you can set it up to that way it will it'll wrap around. set them up to either they'll wrap around I'm not sure if that will do it no that just did the exterior texture but you can get your your caps to do it as well but yeah that's how you quickly put on a little parapet cap for your parapet walls that way you can have that proper look for your building